I am CEO co-founder of Cleanology. We are a commercial cleaning and facilities management business. One word to sum up being a founder is brave. My choice of drink is an Earl Grey with milk and one sugar. Why did you start your business? I started my business by accident and my first business was a motorized rickshaw business which um, I ran for a couple of years which lost a lot of money. So I ended up helping my mum because I had to do something else to keep me occupied and try and, and, and pay the bills. I was supposed to be working with her for a few months helping her to set up her business um, and 17 years later I'm still here. She very much wanted to keep it as a small home business hobby, a bit of fun. Uh, and I wanted to grow it into a bigger, more serious business. I'm a founder because no one would ever employ me. I, I kind of can't imagine doing anything else. I work for a bank uh, on a voluntary kind of basis, a work experience for a week when I was about 16, and I absolutely hated it. I was like, this is definitely not what I want to do. I do not want to work for a big corporate or company. I don't really want to work for anyone else. And I just, I could not wait to leave and go and start my own business. Apart from like a personality thing, <laughs> I wouldn't be able to work for anyone else. I'm not, I'm not very compliant, if that makes sense. So um, I would be very disruptive, I think, as an employee. Um, but I really most of all enjoy um, the freedom, the freedom to be creative, do my own thing, um, make decisions which impact other people. Define success. Uh, success for me is uh, a number of things. Um, I think legacy is really important and the impact that we will leave behind uh, as a business, I will leave behind when I depart the world. Um, but to be able to um, change people's lives for the better, uh, to be able to change an industry uh, and to be able to impact people that we, we work around. Um, you know, we are a community essentially. Uh, we have our customers, our, our employees, uh, our stakeholders, suppliers, partners, um, and being, being able to influence and impact all those people's lives uh, is really important. So if we can do that in a positive way, for me, that's, that's success. Is legacy one of the motivations for you for starting a business? Definitely. I mean, when I started my first business, uh, it was all about changing a very outdated mode, you know, a, a transport, um, shaking up the taxi world um, to the point where they attempt, put an attempt on my life. Um, but, um, you know, it's all about um, being able to, to disrupt, I think, you know, markets and, and improve things. My current business is, uh, is about taking an old fashioned industry and sector and making it much more current and, um, and modern and more forward thinking. We were the first in the country to bring in recycled uniforms in our industry, um, the first to use chemical free sachets and now the whole industry is moving towards that. So I'd like to think that, you know, we are uh, leading the way and leading change. What piece of advice would you give an aspirational founder? I would say go for it. I think you, I know a lot of people who have um, talked about starting a business, thought about starting a business, almost started a business and never did. Uh, and I think they will probably always regret it. Um, it's one of those things that you could probably always go and get a job, but you can't probably always go and start a business. I think if you were made to do it and you've got the right um, attitude and you're willing to work damn hard and go through all the pain of, uh, of starting a business, you'll smash it. And if it's not for you, it's not for you, but you've tried it and you've got nothing to lose.